they got military power like no civilization in history ever had and they came and they overpowered us and colonized us but they never decolonized until they had put in place the institutions with which we were to be tested and so they took the gold and silver coins out of the market and then they created an international monetary fund with a charter which even Dr. Muhammad Mahathir had not read because he did not know that the charter the, sorry the articles of agreement of the International Monetary Fund prohibited the use of gold as money he didn't know that it was a revelation to him hmm? so they put they took this money out of the market and they replaced it with something else they replaced it with paper currencies when you study international monetary economics as I have done you will come to the conclusion very easily that this paper currency and the electronic money which is taking over from it are bogus are fraudulent and haram but they are scholars of Islam who are dependent for their bread and butter and so they can't talk and the others who have not studied monetary economics and they didn't find anything like this in the books of fiqh that were written a thousand years ago so they're living in a world in which they are incapable of forming any opinion and so they say well since all the scholars hold the view that this paper money is halal I can't break ranks with them hmm? no you take a piece of paper and if there's anyone present here tonight who wants to challenge me by all means please do so I'd welcome it you take a piece of paper this is after September 1971 when Bretton Woods collapsed you take a piece of paper and you print a picture on it and you put a number on it hmm? and you say abracadabra and you assign to that piece of paper a, an entirely fictitious value hmm? so you created wealth out of nothing huh? this is what the prophet said that he would do he wants you to worship him instead of Allah and so long as we keep on using this paper money including Imran Hussein so long as we keep on using this paper money we are accepting him and worshipping him rather than Allah which is why the Prophet said the time will come when a man a believer in order to preserve his faith would have to flee to the mountain sides where rain falls and take with him some sheep and goats now we don't mind if other scholars argue that the paper currency is halal because people should have the freedom to speak and when you argue the case for the paper money being halal and the electronic money being halal you know with the electronic money is even cheaper you don't need a printing press you don't need paper you don't need ink with electronic money you simply type it in and type it out hmm? if you consider that to be halal money and people want to accept your opinion they must have the freedom to do so we must preserve the freedom of people to accept that belief and if people do, do not want to accept the view that I represent people should have the freedom to reject my view alright 
However, the time has now come for me to say that if you make an attempt to come after me with boxing gloves and you make the mistake of attempting to silence me, rob me of the freedom to speak and to teach. That's all I do. I have no jamaat. No. That's all I do. I teach. If you make the mistake to do that, to silence me, to marginalize me, to demonize me, then I will show patience for as long as I can show patience. And when I can no longer show patience, I will then challenge you. And shame on you on that day, if you do not stand up and accept the challenge. And the challenge that I'll offer is this. I am saying that this paper money is haram, bogus and fraudulent. And you are saying that it is halal. So come and let us both raise our hands and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to curse with an eternal curse and to punish with eternal punishment. Whosoever is wrong between us on this issue, I hope and I pray that I never have to do that. History is going to end not only with this mysterious figure moving towards ruling the world from Jerusalem but also testing mankind with what Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam described as the supreme test of all not even the companions of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam ever had to experience the kind of test and trials and imtihan examination that we in this age have to experience. Since this is the supreme test and trial, it follows that this is the age when we need the best scholars of Islam ever. The institutions of Islamic learning today, as presently constituted, cannot deliver it. The International Islamic University in Malaysia, regardless of what pious intentions they may have been in creating it, cannot deliver that kind of Islamic scholarship which can explain the reality of the world today and warn our people. If I had the time, I could turn to the rest of the economic challenge, the banking system the banking system, the money being borrowed and lent on interest. If I had the time, I could turn to the political challenge, to the modern secular state, and to its claim to sovereignty, and the implications when we go and vote in elections to create a government that will now preside over a state which declares that sovereignty no longer belongs to Allah. It now belongs to the state. This is what Islamic scholarship has to do. History is going to end, however, says Islam. When the true Messiah comes and he's going to kill the false Messiah, Dajjal. So Dajjal will have to be born from Jewish parents. I don't know when he's going to be born. And he had to grow up. Said Nabi Muhammad he'll be a Jew. He'll be a young man, he'll be powerfully built, he'll have curly hair. I don't have time to talk about his eyes. But there's a book of mine entitled Surah al Kaf in the Modern Age, in which I have analyzed the eyes. And he's going to stand up in Jerusalem and declare that I am the Messiah. At that time, when he does that, there will hardly be any water left in the Sea of Galilee. What is Imran talking about? Read this book, <laughs> Gog and Magog. The Sea of Galilee is going to dry up, says Nabi Muhammad So we know, we can look at that and see the countdown. When he declares that I am the Messiah, it is at that time or shortly before that time. I don't know which one is correct. 